Hey guys and girls, welcome back to East Lacrimosa of Dano. We are climbing Baja Tower. Last time around, we fought this crazy dragon statue thing. It was kind of actually tough. It was. It gave me a little run for my money. But uh, we made it to the top of the tower. Let's head up this elevator and see what awaits us. Huh? Looks like we're at the top of the tower. Give me a second here, guys. Okay. What's that slate over there? That's a monolith that can record and deliver information. The information about Okeanos should be stored on there, too. The monolith is just a stone board. Where's all the information? If you provide some energy, the information that you want should appear. By the way, I think Donna was using something similar in the past, too. I can't believe this existed in the same era. As ancient species. Huh? It's so ridiculous. I'm not even surprised anymore. I want a monolith. I could study a lot. <laughs> You're such a hard worker. There used to be some that were portable back then. But the one here is very large and it might be difficult to take home. Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> About the monolith. It seems like most of them were destroyed. Yes, let me check if any of them still work. Broken. I know these all are probably going to be broken except for the one I need to talk to, but I'd just rather check them regardless. And what's in the middle? It's all shiny. Oh, no. Okay. Let's do it. What about this monolith? Species, Marine and Okeanos. Okeanos. Okay, that's its name. There it is. What does it say? Okay, hold on. Um, Okeanos. A dragon species with a bad temper. They attack anything that enters their habitat, even ships. If their habitat is along a shipping route, you have to defeat them, but doing so is difficult. They travel very quickly underwater, and it's nearly impossible to capture them. But they build nests within their habitat and return there periodically to rest. The best opportunity to attack them is while they're resting in their nests. To defeat an Okeanos, first you have to find its nest and wait until it returns. So you gotta play the dirty tactic, basically. I 
it's me. As long as we can find its nest, we have a chance. <laughs> Looks like we have some hope. The problem is, where is its nest? Unfortunately, it doesn't list where it is. If it has a habitat, then that must mean that they each have their own nest. Looks like we have to find the nest of the Okeanos that sank the Lombardia on her own. Hmm, this isn't working. Let's see. First two games I ever played. What information is being projected now? This is information about the Great Tree of Beginnings. Great Tree of Beginnings. Is that the giant tree that was at the temple where you were? It seems to be a symbol of some faith, but I wonder what its origin is. Now that I think about it, I haven't explained it yet. The Great Tree of Beginnings is a being that grants evolution to anything that lives. Speaking of evolution, I've heard that word somewhere before. Sister Lexi explained it! Wasn't it when living organisms keep changing over a long time? Yes, and that process is managed by our great tree of beginnings, which we protect. Previous maidens have given prayers to the Great Tree and received its benefits. We Eternians were dragon species, but evolved out of those benefits. Damn. So they used to be dragon species. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Hey, wait. Aren't dragon species the same as ancient species? Your ancestors were ancient species? Yes, that's actually true. That's why Eternians are so big and strong. <laughs> so that's the reason. It's not surprising. We humans also evolved and look like we do now. I, I guess it isn't surprising. We evolved from like a toad, so it's like... Basically. A record in the sanctuary showed the Light King receiving energy from the Great Tree. That was probably a metaphor for the benefits of evolution as well. The people of Eternia awakened to wisdom and discovered the power of energy. That's probably what it means. But why did their city fall? I don't understand. Why weren't they able to prosper? not working it seems like it's completely destroyed well to continue to prosper they prospered but Aww. not for How that long probably but we were able to gain some useful information yes it feels like we're one step closer to defeating okeanos let's go back to the village first and make a plan sounds good Gosh, I really want to like explore a place that I that I'm missing treasure chest on. Which is a lot of places. For sure. Uh, I'll have to do it probably off screen. I, I just really wanna continue to make it through the game and make progress. Progress per make progression. Why is it so foggy? What the hell? It's super white. Is this fog? <laughs> yes, and a strange fog at that. It feels almost like it's grabbing our bodies. Yeah, it does. It feels off. Hey, look at the sea. Uh, th this time. I oh no. It. Is it Okeanos? Is he doing something? What's with everyone? Sounds like something happened. Let's check it out, Adol. 
How about it, Aaron? Did you see the ship? Unfortunately, I did. I wish I was mistaken, but that isn't the case. The ship? What ship? Adol, you're back? Perfect timing. There's something I'd like for you to check out. Hey, Aaron! Adol's back, so how about you show him that thing? You should hurry over here, then. You should hurry over here, then. I'll explain later. Just climb the lookout tower, okay? Oh, gosh. Um. I want to make a separate save. So I don't continuously save it on... I'm going to continuously make separate saves, just in case. If, um... Because I'm going to be missing stuff, I'm sure. So let's climb up and see what's going on. Because I'm just trying to beat the game. That's my main goal. The rest will follow. What does it look like? You see it? <sighs> it's moving ridiculously fast. Keep that up and go a little to the east, at all. Oh, it's the ghost ship. The one they were talking about. Looks like it went beyond the cape. <laughs> so that's the ghost ship everyone has been talking about. It definitely looked like a ghost ship. That thing was like burning blue flame. Even Laxa and the others were taken aback when they saw the ghost ship. The sightings were mere rumors before, but it had started to appear in the ocean, clear as day over the past few days. Meanwhile, Dogi and the others were informed about what Adol's group learned about Okeanos. While joyous news, they still had to figure out where Okeanos was hiding. How would they find something in the ocean, and how would they defeat it? See, this is where I'm going to need that thing that lets me breathe in the water comes into play. After everyone was caught up to speed, their conversations went in a circle. They decided to instead discuss how best to handle the ghost ship. Hey, old man Thanatos, want to run that by me again? I said, we might be able to use that ghost ship to escape. You heard me the first time. That's a very bold idea, as expected of you, Thanatos. Well, it's about our survival. There's no time to shrink away in terror. You're right. We might be able to use it as a ship, sparing us from having to build our own. Ghost ship, I want to ride on it. I'm also intrigued. Are you serious? But before you get ahead of yourselves, do we know that it will operate like a ship? It seems functional, but it's surrounded by an eerie light. Either way, it's worth investigating. What do you say, Adol? Want to check out that creepy ship? <laughs> do you really have to ask? Yep, as reliable as ever. Okay, Anos is a concern, but we don't have enough useful information quite yet. <laughs> Guess it's a more efficient use of our time to do this first. Sheesh. How do we get go about investigating a ghost ship? We have no idea when it appears. About that. For the past few days, that ship has been vanishing behind the southeastern cape. Southeastern cape? What's over there? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we haven't explored that side of the cape yet. It may be worth looking into. That's that one area that we haven't touched that needs 20 people to break through. Looks like it's decided then. We'll head out when the sun rises. <laughs> Not until I find people. I need I need one more person to join our ship. Our ship. To join our village. Because there's no way I'm going to be breaking through that without that. Without another person. Also, uh, can I do this? Because this has been killing me. Oh no, this is... This is the underwater part. Um, this is where what's his name is the the master. Should I try and fight the master? We might be able to. Let's give it a shot. I'm down to battle him. Oh, ah, uh, at all about Allison. It seems her condition isn't very good. They checked her and said that she's going into premature labor. I think Allison is very worried. Yeah, I'm worried too. I hope there's a way to help relieve her worry somehow. Do you know any?
Let's hurry up and find her, her husband. If we can do that, then I'm definitely sure that will make her feel better. But let's think of something that might be practical. Then what about flowers? Seeing and smelling her favorite flowers should help cheer her up. I remember her telling me something before. The village that Allison comes from had a beautiful flower garden. And purple bell flowers filled up the entire garden. It sounded like it was a memorable place for her husband, too. But it's a rare flower that ex that's exclusive to Greek, so... Purple bell flowers. As the name suggests, it's a purple flower in the shape of a bell. Do you know the flower sister, Donna? Yes, I saw it during the Eternia era. There were, weren't many at that time, but I don't know about this era. It might be possible that they still are around somewhere. Let's try to find some. Yes, if we give them to her, I'm sure she'll be really happy. Then it's decided. Let's try to find some right away. Homeland Flower has been added to the quest page. Allison is feeling a bit nauseous. Find the purple bell flower that grows in her homeland to give her relief. And sure, I want to look for them, but where do we start? idea where to start looking. We probably have a quest as well. Oh, it's just that one. Okay. She said she's seen it in the Eternian era, so I mean there's a good chance it's somewhere in Eternia where I don't know. Maybe, uh, if we go back to, maybe we have to go back and then from there do something to make the flowers stay alive in this time. And that's the only thing I can think of at the moment. So... See where they let me go, because it doesn't. There's a lot of places they let me visit in this era. See, they weren't specific at all, so I don't really know what to do in this predicament. I can switch back to Adel from here, right? You know. I think there's a, a tree up here, right? 
Oh, of course. Oh, no, wait. There is a tree up here, but I don't know if I can use that. Yeah, I can't. Figures. I want to go back to Adol. Clearly, there's nothing at all here. Aerial Garden. It isn't big, but it's a place that has been treasured by former royals. <laughs> Aerial Garden? Where's that at? This is gonna annoy me to no end. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. I'm gonna go back to Adol, because there's a good chance that I'm just overthinking things and maybe I just have to find a, like a flower, a lone flower that survived or something. I don't wanna overthink this too much. If I can find where the right one is that I can teleport to Adol with, it's, it's kinda being annoying at the moment. Rodina Road. I just want to find my way back to Adol. The bridge south of the capital. That's this way, right? Okay. Yeah. I should send me back. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick to my original what I wanted to do first, because uh, we're literally just gonna be running around all over the place at this point. And I'm gonna go face uh, the master. I like having a double jump.
Do it for the blue haired girl. Okay. So just totally skipping the party that we've had for the longest and just going to the new girl. Oh my lord. Oh, he's doing his move again. Get out of there. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Of course. Of course I get stuck. So why wouldn't I? Here we go again. Whatever. I was like on the side of you, dude. Two new moves! Plus whatever he's gonna teach me from me beating him. Ow. He's dead already. <laughs> this is kinda wasted, but whatever. Oh, uh, she learned the move he, that he was doing. Cool. <laughs> when will it be Adol or my turn? <laughs> I have to be careful. Master said I'll be counting on you. We'll meet at the summit of the most dangerous mountain next. Master Kong's approval. Increased. Oh, that's where we get the flower. Okay. That's in this area, though, where I don't have a 20th person. Which is killing me. Oh, wait, who is this? Oh, no, that's where the master is, right? See, if we could get the master to come to get Gendarm and help us out, that'd be, like, right there, the most beneficial of beneficials. I'm also trying to figure out where all this stuff is. A lot of stuff is going on in this, like, corner. Clearly, these ones are all for... 
like when we get behind the thing. But then there's this one. I don't know where this is at, or this one. There's a lot on this side that we haven't really touched upon. I guess we could go to Gendarme. I don't think he's gonna face me though. He always makes you wait like a long time before he faces you again. Yeah. He's always scared and makes you wait forever. What is this blocking? I don't understand that. Um, let's go to Longhorn. I don't think there's any way to get over there though from here, but I just wanted to check again. Just cause. I feel like now that I have double jump, that's what I have to do. I'm gonna have to re revisit certain spots and see about double jumping into certain areas. And that's probably how I'll get across. Water and Forest Hill. Someone's been here. Oh, this is... Tarpaulin on a thatched roof. It looks like a recent addition. There's no one in... There's no one inside. I'm so glad that there are others here. Eep! Uh-huh. Is she a chef? The chef item gift is for her. Sorry, sorry. That was uncalled for. I stepped out to get some edible plants, but don't worry about me. Meralda. My name is Meralda. My husband owns a restaurant in Greek. I took the ship on my way back from There's our 20th Greece, person. But you guys were passengers on the Lombardia, right? Okay, so this is a deserted island, and not just any island, the Isle of Siren. But still, I'm glad that there are others in the same situation. Hmm, <laughs> so you're at all. Such bright red hair. You must be that brave young man from the ship who fought off the monster. You looked so cool at the time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, got a little admirer there, a little, little jealousy going on there, Laxia. It looks as though you've been living a rather eventful life out here. Yes. And lucky for me, I still have my favorite cooking knife. The power of a restaurant... No, of a wife is grand. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Men are helpless in any argument with their wife. Hmm. I've heard that such women are extra tough. I'm worried about my husband, but I'm more worried about my children. I hope all six of them are safe and well. Indeed. I also hope that your six ch- What? You mean to tell me that you've given birth to six children and have kept that figure? <sighs> Inconceivable! I can't believe you're married. <laughs> now, now. You won't get anything special for flattering me so much. So I want to join Castaway Village right away. Cooking, cleaning, laundry. Leave all the household chores to me. 
cool. Meralda joined. We'll take her aboard. She, so this is the sled to her. That's it. It's just a way to get her in the party. See, but then there's this. This is what I want to make it to as well. And, and that's just resting on nothing. I don't know where that is. Like, literally, it's just like a spot that's not that doesn't highlight. Which I don't understand. Is it possible to get there? It has to be. A thing. Oh. Oh god. You know that's... It's gonna kill me that... I wanna grab this guy so badly. Wow, this thing's level 56 and we're owning it like this? Didn't know that. Thunderclaw. Okay. I want that. That's what's like driving me crazy. Go. You're not getting away from me. Treasure chest. What do we got? Got another rainbow jewel. Cool. Um, let's fill out this map a little bit more. Clearly we haven't touched on this. I don't know how, honestly. Kind of boggles my mind that I haven't really touched on this area. There's something there. Let's go up. Because this is down, right? There was enough for a path going up into the mountain. I'm pretty sure. That one, that right there. Let's see if that leads us to where we want to go. Oh, come on. Kind of busy here. Stupid ancient species. Getting in my way. Probably not. This probably leads, like... Oh, yeah, no. This is just back to where she was at. Okay. Um, let's go break this. Now that we can. Be the, on the only area we haven't explored. Thank you, everyone. Oh, never mind. This, this just leads to nothing. Uh, that's kind of sad. What does the blue bracelet do? 
Chance freeze. Damn it. I thought that that would lead us to this middle. But apparently it doesn't. Which is garbage. Super, super garbage. We want to get here, though. We do want to get here. And our best bet seems to be Longhorn. I think, at least. Longhorn looks like it, it would like eventually lead around to the to where we're trying to go. This fruit looks delicious. Yeah, up there. Because now I can double jump. Which is going to let me get up there. Now we can see what we've been missing out on on this side of the this nostalgic cape. See a wrecked ship. If you please, what is that? Here we go. Can I catch that? Oh, dude! You're trying to fish. What is that? That has to be something, right? Is that just for show? What did I get? Just random crap? What is that? Oh! 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 Mesh! 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 What is that? Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! It's, I'm gonna lose it. What the hell? That was like a kingfish. Oh, I'm so sad. I was doing everything right, though. Oh, that makes me so sad. I can't believe I lost a, like a kingfish. I really wanted that. Ow. Why is everything hurting me so damn much? This fruit looks delicious. Let's get this nostalgia cape uh, seen first. Which it looks to be the ship here that's all busted up. seems to be something here. Roman badge. Ow. That's for probably, uh, Aaron. Might be like his friend's badge. That, uh, the slasher killed or something.
Whoa, we're going really high. <laughs> oh, there's the blue flowers. What a beautiful flower. I've never seen this kind before. Purple and bell shaped. Could it be? Yes, this is the purple bell flower. <laughs> well, I'm glad you found it. Here we go. <laughs> Someone's here. You, you are. Is that her husband? Please tell me that's who that is. Ah, I finally found other survivors. Are you all from the Lombardia too? Adol briefly explained the situation and told him about Castaway Village. I see, so everyone is sticking together. Is Alice in there as well? Well, if you know that name, then. D do you know Allison? Is she safe? Is she feeling okay? Well, calm down. Yes, what did you say your name was? Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself yet. That's her husband. Mr. Ed. My name is Ed. I'm Allison's husband. And I'm also a tailor. Anyway, can you please take me to my wife? And we could, or we could just leave you here. And, like... Take her for her ourselves. I'm, uh, no, I'm kidding. That's how Addo met Ed. Addo explained Allison's condition, and after picking up purple bell flowers, they returned to the village. Allison, I'm so sorry to have made you worry. I was doing my best to find you, but... Ed washed up on the east side of the island. There were many vicious beasts in the area, so he couldn't move very freely. I'm glad that you're okay. I'm really, really glad. Allison. Oh yeah, Allison, I actually found purple bellflowers on this island. No, I found them. I wanted you to see them, so I was staying in the area. They were growing, but... Thanks to that Addo and the other Addo, little, and the others were able to find me. I placed them by the table, so I'll bring them later. <laughs> uh, Allison? No. I'm just happy that you really are here with me. You're always doing your best for me. I'm so thankful. No, I haven't done anything. Ah uh, <laughs> Allison Ah Oh, she's going into labor. Oh no, it's time. After seeing her husband's face, Allison's condition changed. It was ahead of schedule, but she had to deliver the baby a few hours later. We're going to have a little pint-sized castaway? A little tiny castaway. <laughs> Look at him. Or her. It looks like a her. Congratulations. Okay. It's a happy boy. He is our... How... How lovely. Allison, you did great. You did just great. Oh, honey, you're crying even more than a, the baby. How is his condition, doctor? Yes, it was a premature birth, so he's a little underweight, but he doesn't seem to have any health problems. I'm very surprised. It must be a miracle. Thank you very much. I couldn't have done it without you guys. No, we didn't do anything. <laughs> well, that's a happy ending. By the way, can you be my little brother? <laughs> of course. Yay, now I'm a big sister. Sorry, it's an emergency. The beasts are here. Man, those, those guys always pick the worst possible time. <laughs> Looks like they deserve some cruel and unusual punishment. Please stay with Allison, Dr. Licht, and Ed. Okay, I will. <laughs> so this is a raid battle. No, please let me join. I want to protect my wife and kids. Kids? You have kids? I thought it was kid. With my own hands. Let's win. Yes, of course. Please lead the way. Damn. <laughs>
That was great. I joined the castaway village. And we got another interception. Which I really didn't want to do. Which is kind of annoying. Because I still wanted to explore that other side of the island. But interception comes first, I guess. Uh, there's still so much of this other island I want to look at. Wait, why do I always lose Dougie? I swear. I have some gifts, don't I? Uh, just one. A badge with a mighty eagle and blade on it. For you. Add on. Maxed out with him for that? Okay. Oh, Aaron has something. I mean, kind of have an interception going on, but whatever. As I thought, it's leaking. Who's the idiot who slacked off on the job? We'll have to take it all apart and fix it. Hand me the tools at all. You're really skilled. That's great. I'm just doing what's necessary. There's still a lot of dangerous criminals on the loose in Rom. I'm gonna go back there and capture all of them. That way, what happened here won't ever happen anywhere else. We're close. Let's work hard together. Yeah, I would especially like you to lend me a hand at all. I'm sure I'll need your help in the near future. Oh yeah, this is a secret, and I'm just talking to myself here, but I've searched areas where mysterious events have taken place before. While searching those areas, I discovered something interesting. Asteria, Felgana, and Celsetta. In each of those places, <laughs> a red-haired swordsman appeared and helped resolve the abnormalities. I heard he recently appeared in Xandria, too. I don't know. All story. the other games, Asteria. Um, Asteria is the first one, right? Yeah, that's East 1 and 2, I believe. Felgana, he said. He said Felgana, right? That's uh, Oath and Felgana. That was um, the one with uh, when you go to Dogi's hometown. And then Salsetta, which was the one before this. And then Xandria is... Um, what's Xandria? I think that's the Keffin one. The Like Keffin, the lost city in the sand or something like that. I think. Which isn't out yet. It will, it well, is anyway, an elite member of the Marines has taken interest. Maybe you guys will have a long last It's experience. out on, um, it came out on the, the Super Nintendo uh, a while ago. But as for the remake, the remake's not out. You know the remake's coming for sure, though, because they've been making all the adult games. They have to. Uh, thanks for the warning. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, getting off this island is our top priority right now. I'm gonna get back to work. So, elite marine members are taking a little interest in the Adol right now for some reason. You know, I just do everything on this island. No big deal. Three primitive meats. Where is, uh, the cook lady? <gasps> Look at the boat. It's coming together. So there's Dogie for the interception. Where's the meat lady, though? Oh, here she is. You can 
now make vegetable juice at Moraldos. Make juice. Oh, cool. I'll make some juice, cabbage juice. Wow, it takes a lot to make juice. A lot of the vegetables and stuff that we've amassed. Does her quest not start because of the thing? Because of the raid, maybe? Okay. Let's go talk to Dogi so we can get this over with. Okay, let's start this. Understood. <sighs> All right, bring it on. Those little slug things kill one of our fences that much. That's crazy. You know what? I should actually raise these defenses. I probably have way more than enough materials to raise these defenses up, these things. Damn, that's good. Well, too late now. We gotta regroup somehow. Let me help you. Surprise! Surprise! They are ballsy, aren't they? Going right for the defense this time. The surprise attacks. This is the critical moment. Oh, 
Wow, he hit me far. He's down here. Trust my defenses. We won't break. This is the work of Final wave, please. Yes. Let's, do our best. Let's go. Get out of here. Yo, Sylvie is here. Nice. Smash some stuff. Coming, don't they? These apes don't play. Ow. Do your special. Both of them, both of them. Or not. Or not. Ancient wood, ancient flowers. First time bonus for Adult Squad, Hero Cloak, Dornicle Shells. Damn, I wish they gave us the Panzer thing that we need for that one gift. But whatever. We did it. Primitive meat can only be carved from ancient species. It should be tasty, but it's tough to get a hold of. And that said, could you please fetch me three primitive meats? Do I not have primitive meat? Is it like... Did she mark it at least? 
I'm not seeing any quest that says primitive meat. And then when you talk to her, she doesn't really say anything. Oh, okay, here we go. Did she mark it though? No, she did not. So I'm expected just to kill some ancient species? Because I'm confused. Because I can do that, but I'm confused. <laughs> Is that what she wants me to do? Oh yeah, there they go. Primitive meat. She wants three. Right. So we got one. So far. primitive meat, right? Because I'm not getting any now, so now I don't understand. Is that the primitive meat? Oh, so we got two primitive meat. So mix together some stuff. Hello. Two of those. Two Please of those. Take Please take this. And one of those. There Please you go. Please take care. wide <laughs> that was delicious <laughs> you're the ideal wife her husband. <laughs> and we're re rewarded with the recipe. <laughs> we did it. Let's learn that. Even though we had the recipe already. <laughs> but do whatever. <laughs> Um, also, real quick, I gotta find where exactly it's at. 
Is it the Gendarme Hillside? It might be. I don't know if this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. We're gonna go... If he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. We're gonna go talk to the Mishy, because I think I can feed him more. And he's been giving us stuff, so... Yeah, got the rat mushrooms now for him. Of course, that wasn't enough. Such a glutton, that Mishy. Um. Alright, before we go anywhere, let's head back here. I want to quickly check if I can. Yeah, okay, so I did get the energy panzers. I wanted to check if I could get that last gift. Which now I can, and that's clearly for you. Everyone will love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but your husband would get mad. Uh-oh, I'm blushing, aren't I? <laughs> I like how you're so innocent like that, too. I wonder how happy my family would be if I cook for them with this. Oh, it reached its limit already? Jeez, that was quick. Mind if I ask a favor? Sure. Whew. That was close. Thanks for getting that thing out of here. I've hated spiders ever since I was young. Anyway, boys are so reliable. Um, I'm a little old to be called a boy. Twenty-one years old, Adol? You're already a grown man. I told you before, but I have six children. And miraculously, they're all boys. They're nowhere near as brave or courageous as you, Adol. But I see them in you. They're all good boys. And my husband works hard, so I'm sure they're fine. It's only a matter of time till we escape. Are you excited to see their faces? <laughs> huh? I wasn't thinking of it like that. But I'm sure they'll all be surprised when they find out I'm alive. <laughs> but maybe you're right. I can't wait to see their reactions. Thank you for making me feel better, Adol. And this is for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. All right. This is where a lot of big, starving kids are at. I have to make a lot of food for everyone again. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's check on the people. We got a lot of people's uh, approval now. Max Sahad out. We gotta max these three, but... Yeah. Um. Max. 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 Max is just down the board. I love it. And then it gets crappier and crappier as we go along. <sighs> okay. Uh, we don't have any more presents, right? I don't think. Uh, yes, we do not. I, I bet some of those chests, too, are going to be like what I, like different presents I need to give people. The ones that I missed. I'm just waiting to be captured. Ugh. It just really irritates me. Alright, so, uh, we're heading back to Nostalgia Cave. I do have to end this part off, but I kind of just want to run at least to, like, where I was at last time, before they threw me back. I want to explore too where uh, those flowers were. I 
there was stuff here. King Pumpkin. This is this guy's bonfire. What was that? Fried fish? I have not made that before. I'll make that. That looks delicious, Jesus. Okay. Um, let's go, uh... Let's go feed the Mishy. They should fill him, I think, and he should give me something else. Potentially. I know I was supposed to end it, but... I didn't expect to find uh, another thing of food for the Mishy. What's up, my mishy mishy friend? As for you. <laughs> what are you gonna give me? Hell. thinking that they're gonna give me something actually good even though I'm not gonna knock a ripe right mango uh, it's just oh, I don't know could have gave me another item to stick in uh, this thing still need four more items and one of them is definitely gonna be the breathing thing probably to breathe under water but then the other three no idea so this is where we gotta go, but I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. We'll continue exploring uh, this cape next time. See you guys then. Bye-bye.